Hello there, this is Story Wilson with RSW Solutions. This is the Allcoms software that I have uh, developed. This software is paired with a, a special piece of hardware that I have also designed, manufacture, and sell. This uh, software and hardware tool combination uh, was designed about approximately three years ago, two and a half years ago. And since then, I have made many modifications. Um, and enough modifications have been made, we are on, now on version two. And I wanted to go over some of the features in version 2. A lot has changed. A lot of problems with the previous version have been repaired. Uh, hopefully, you're not using the original version any longer. Version 2 is available. And if you already own the software, uh, you'll be receiving email updates soon uh, with uh, download links and activation keys. If you're a potential new customer, thanks for watching. We're going to go over some of the, some of the features this tool set has. So when you receive your equipment from me, um, you'll install this software, plug in your Allcoms device, and uh, go through the license, and you'll be working with the Mark III Range Rover or the L322 Range Rover vehicle. This is the 2002 to 2005 model year range BMW manufactured L322 full-size Range Rover. The way you uh, go about working with this tool is you select your vehicle, you have read faults section which is going to allow you to read and clear faults on all these modules listed here. Uh, something I'm very very proud of to announce is that we now have support for the uh, BMW M57 diesel engine. Previously this was not available as I don't have access to a diesel uh, vehicle to test on but that's been changed. So this is how this module works and this is the same for reading uh, faults on all the modules. You'll open and you'll see the transmit and receive blue and red and the linked light you'll read the faults and you'll wait for that sequence to complete and the faults that are returned from the diesel engine control module are down here listed below and this will allow you to further troubleshoot your vehicle and once you're done then you just clear the faults and you close the system close the communication session uh, also you'll notice this this text box has a lot more information than it used to uh, I decided to put a lot more uh, kind of conversation information in this text box to give you the user more of an idea of what's going on uh, and if something goes wrong it'll also be displayed here reading and clearing the fault codes is the same for all the other modules listed here it's simply open communication session read the faults there we go clear the faults and close another feature that's been added uh, is something that I think is extremely useful. Inside the uh, RSW Solutions program group, program folder, there's a directory called logs. And these logs will contain uh, a diagnostic session, a report from the most recent diagnostic session. Every single day, a new file is created if there's a, 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 a communication session. When you open the diagnostics file, what you'll see is a uh, pretty much a listing of what you were already working with on the computer screen, but this is a permanent long-term record that's dated and time-stamped. So, uh, you know, even if you do nothing, all these files will be created every single session that you open up with your vehicle, and you can go back and reference them. So, on this date and time, you read these faults, and so that should hopefully be a useful feature. Uh, also, the same thing applies to when uh, defaults are created. You know, if... Uh, if there are uh, settings that are read from the vehicle, they will go into a default file for later reference if you need to go back and reset a vehicle configuration step. Other than that, uh, the same uh, systems are still present. You have the air suspension calibration functions, a few uh, air suspension functions. I've also added a graphing function. It's not functioning in this demo, uh, but it will be uh, when the uh, tool is available. This is a uh, plan to add lots more modules here basically you can monitor in this case air suspension height sensors and see the height sensor data graphed out uh, pretty much not too much has changed with the system it looks cleaner it's quicker it works better I've got a diesel engine module that's been added and uh, the, the, the body module functions have been added and the lighting control module functions have been added uh, for the 2002 2003 2004 model year 2005 is still a bit tricky not entirely sure how I'm going to get that one done, but it, it's on the list of, uh, of uh, tasks to complete. So thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. 
and uh, I hope you uh, buy my product. Thanks.